With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So we have to evaluate the given integral and the integral given to us is let it be i. So i is integral of e raised to power minus x dx and in denominator we have 16 plus 9 e raised to power minus 2x. So if we see the differentiation of e raised to power minus x is equal to minus times of e raised to power x. So if we take 1 by 9 common from here we will get e raised to power minus x dx and in denominator we have 16 by 9 and plus of e raised to power minus 2x. So if we further simplify this we have 1 by 9 and integration of e raised to power minus x dx and in denominator we have this can be written as 4 by 3 whole square and plus of e raised to power minus x whole square. So if we put e raised to power minus x is equal to t so from here minus e raised to power minus x dx will be equal to dt. So e raised to power minus x dx is nothing but minus of dt. So from here if we further solve this we have i is equal to 1 by 9 times of integration. This e raised to power minus x dx is nothing but minus of dt. So putting minus here and dt and in denominator we have left with 4 by 3 whole square and plus of e raised to this is e raised to power minus x which is equal to t. So this term is t whole square. So we have a result of integral of 1 upon x square plus a square. This is equal to 1 by a tan inverse of x by a and plus c that is some constant. So using this result, so the value of i from here will be equal to minus 1 by 9 into we have 1 by a. So 1 by a is nothing but 1 upon 4 by 3 and into we have tan inverse tan inverse of x by a. So x here is t and by a is a is nothing but 4 by 3 and plus of c that is some constant. So if we further solve this we have minus 3 by 9 into 4. So 3 1s are 3 3s are. So into tan inverse of we have this term will be equal to 3t by 4 and we have plus c that is some constant. So i from here will be equal to minus of 1 by 12 and tan inverse of 3t by 4 and plus c that is some constant. So t is nothing but e raised to power minus x. So putting t is equal to e raised to power minus x we have i from here will be equal to minus 1 by 12 tan inverse of 3 e raised to power minus x by 4 and plus of c that is some constant. So this will be the final answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.